Hi, this is Carlos Reyes again from RCAdvisor.com. Um, I've been working on uh, the this is the pickerel prototype, the small flying wing, about uh, half a pound flying weight, and uh, I wanted to do a little bit of a follow up to the uh, glue test, not nothing like I did before. That was uh, that was a huge test, but um, first of all, I, I tried out the um, this is the Elmer's. It says washable school glue sticks. Uh, it says goes on purple, dries clear. And I tried it out. I didn't, I didn't like it because it, it does go on with a purple color, but it's almost impossible to see. So uh, I, I'm going to reject it, say that it's, that it's no good. And I had a, a whole bunch of, of small, I guess, regular size glue sticks, but it doesn't make sense to use those. They're just too small. So right now, uh, I guess I have two that I can recommend. I know uh, Uhu makes a, a large uh, glue stick, and I have, I have this small one, which is right here, which is purple, and it's got a nice, nice co deep color to it. Um, so I think, I think the large Uhu will work well, but the only one that I have on hand, uh, and that's what, I, that's what I've been using, is the Craft Band acid free extra strength glue stick and again it says uh, goes on blue dries clear and it's got a really nice blue color and it works really well so I you know again the Elmer's craft band is the one to use but the Uhu is probably a good one too so I wanted to add a little bit to that uh, I'm also doing a, a small scale uh, hinge tape test I, and I know people like to use Blenderm, and you know I think Blenderm is okay. Problem with Blenderm is that it's just too expensive. Um, you know I think a hobby store will sell me a, a roll, a small roll for five bucks. And I went online, and you know I think the only way to buy it is like ten rolls for I don't know twenty, thirty bucks or whatever. So I didn't I didn't see an inexpensive way to buy it. And when I was doing Modify a couple of years ago. Again, I went to my favorite store, Walmart, and they had some of these 3M Next Care. They call them surgical tapes, and they had a few different ones. And the one that I ended up liking the most, which is what I recommend in the book, is uh, this. This is, they call it durable cloth tape. But if you go online, there's actually a nice PDF you can download. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably include a link when I post this. To the PDF from 3M that talks about their different surgical tapes but this one is, is they call it Durapore and in fact in small letters it says Durapore surgical tape so this is the one that I tested and I like the most and you know very inexpensive I think it was like two dollars at most two two fifty for this roll um, I also tested this other one which is they call it it's also from uh, 3M Next Care uh, it's, it says flexible clear tape it says uh, hospital name transport and it's not blender uh, again I've I t tell you the truth I don't think I've ever bought blender but f friends have given me samples so I have I, I a have pretty good idea what it's like anyway so I tested this one too and th so but then uh, I said okay let me see let me see what what else is available and I came across, it's also from 3M, but it's not in that, that type of dispenser. But this is called Medipore H. And I'm not sure what the H, I think the H uh, actually might stand for high strength. And if you look at the chart, you know, the PDF from 3M, this Medipore looks, looks really good, you know, very strong. Um, the, the difference is, you know, these are three different types of materials. The, uh, the transport is really like a plastic. The um, durapore, I don't know what you would call this material. It's almost like a, a satin, uh, you know, a, a plastic. I, I'm not sure what that is. But the the medipore is definitely a cloth. You know, it looks like cotton. Um, so anyway, so I did a little test. Now I I again I have used uh, the durapore and the transport before and I've tested them so this is the, the transport and right away 
you know, when I put it on, this is just two pieces of foam and I put some tape in between, it's probably hard to see. But it's actually kind of stiff, so I didn't like that to begin with. Um, and I know, I know from my previous experience, because I tested this, it, it doesn't hold real well. I mean, it hold, holds okay, but I, I had problems with it breaking on me, which wasn't good. So I, I had rejected before the, uh, you know, the transport. So then here I did, there's two tests, there's the Medipore and the Durapore. And the Durapore, I mean, I've, I've built all of my Modifly and, and I've built some other foam airplanes uh, using the, the Durapore and I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, if I had to find a fault, is that it's not a full inch. Uh, I guess it's three quarters of an inch. So it's a little bit narrow and it's got the serrated edges. Uh, I, I think the idea is so that you can break it by hand, but you know, they kind of tend to stick out, you know, you can kind of get the fuzzies at, at the end of it. Um, otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it. But then, you know, then I, I just got the Medipore, and I like it, I have to say. I mean, it, it went on right away. It had like a really good band to the foam. Um, you know, with, with, the, with these other two, you know, I, I could feel there was a little bit of a give, but many poor just just grabbed it. Now you may not like it because it's just cloth, so I I know it's gonna get dirty and it's already getting dirty just from me handling it. I don't I don't really care. You know, these are these are not showcase airplanes. I just want something that's gonna be quick and easy. And and the, I guess the other thing is that you know the many poor is pretty flexible. Uh, and it, I mean, I just I just got the feeling as soon as I put it on that it was very strong. Um, and you know, again, the Durapor, I, th I think it's fine. Um, I wish it were wider. I wish they don't, it didn't have these serrated edges. The one one thing, so so I like the Medipor. I think Durapor is probably fine. If you have blend them, of course, just use that. But one thing with tapes, and if you go to the 3M website and, and read carefully, is that just like a glue, you know, it may have a, a grip right away, but it, it actually is not going to have its full strength until a day or two after you put it on. And, and most people don't seem to, to know that. And, and I, I've, also do, I've also tested that, you know, if you try and take it off right away, it, it's got a grip, but, but it's, it's, you know, if you wait it like a day or two and then take it off, you can tell that it definitely uh, is holding on much better. So anyway, that's my take test. I like I like the Medipore, so I'm, I may use that. But I have a couple of rolls of the Durapore, so I may use that. I mean, I think the the Medipore is probably a better choice for bigger airplanes, just because it's a full inch, so it's got a much better grip on both sides. But it had a good grip right away, which I, which I liked. Anyway, uh, this is my my building board. This is a one of those um, self healing cutting mat. Uh, I think I paid like 30 bucks for it, but they, they last a long time. In fact, I, I, this is a brand new one. I, I, had to, I, I just replaced the one I had before, but I had that one for years. And, and they're reversible, so after you, you scratch and mess up one side, flip it over, use the other side. The other thing I, I use is this little, uh, they're like bean bags. But I, I actually bought them, I think they're from like Hobby Lobby. And what I put inside is what you know they, they call the or ornamental stones. So they're like small stones, you know, they're smooth stones. And there was I got a package of these uh, these little bags, which they you know, I think they're, they're they're like for party favors. I also got them from Hobby Lobby, the, the craft store, and they were inexpensive. They were on sale, and I just like them. You know, they're a good size. Um, so I bought a couple of bags of these stones and filled them up. I have about a dozen of these bags, and they just come in really handy. I use them all the time. Um, in fact, uh, I was I, I've got a few empty bags left over, so I think I'm gonna go and buy another bag of the stones to fill them up because, you know, I think I have like nine that I here that I use, and and I can even use some more. So this is something that I highly recommend. Um, on top of the cutting cutting mat, I have. Uh, wax paper and it, it works really well to keep keep it keep the mat clean but also to get the keep the glue from from sticking to it uh, as you can see um, I'm almost done building the uh, 
building the flying wing, the, the Picaro. I've got uh, a dowel here and I used uh, just plain masking tape to hold things down. So it's really a combination of the, the bean bags and masking tape to, to hold things in place while the glue dries. And I've been, I've been using my Liquid Nails Perfect Glue because I think it's just about perfect. Uh, and I think it's, this is a rebranding or, or a similar formulation to Perfect Glue 1, which I don't know if you can still get that. But I am really happy with it. I hadn't built with it for a couple of years, you know, since they, they discontinued it. And now, I've, you know, Home, Home Depot is a, is a new source for that, and I really like it. Now, of course, you know, the downside is that the tube is, is small, and I think I've used up at least half of the tube building this airplane. So, you know, but the tube was like, I don't know, three, four bucks. So you need to, you know, keep that in mind. You know, there, there's some other glues that are less expensive, but I love this one because within half an hour, uh, I can I can reposition the work. You know, it's still not completely dry, but within half an hour, it's it dry enough for me to, to move around. I also have this little meter saw, which just comes in really handy for cutting the, uh, the dowels and you know, basically the dowels, you know, square and round ones. Uh, this is a metal file that I, I tend to use all the time, you know, for, for rounding things. It's really handy. It's, it's like a permanent sandpaper, rougher and, and finer. Uh, of course, I have my um, metal rulers. I just bought this one because I, had a, I have a longer one. But, it, 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 you know, this is, I have a, a one that's like a meter or three feet long. But it just will get in the way. So I said, okay, let me get something smaller, and, and I found this one, and I'm, I'm, I've been using it a lot, so I'm pretty happy with it. So it's just, it's just a foot and a half, you know, half a meter. I have a metal square back there, which, you know, I, comes in handy sometimes. I haven't, I haven't used it for this project. And here's my, my bottle of 70% alcohol, which I use to take the paper off. And, I mean, I, I, I'm going to be doing a more detailed build of, of Picadol later. But this is just a prototype and you know it's still going through a lot of changes and so I don't I don't want to go do a detailed build of it because it's probably it's, it's changing constantly at this point and, and I'll talk more about it in, in a minute but anyway so the I, this is 70% alcohol which means 30% um, water and, and that's fine this is the cheap stuff but it works really well to take the paper out of the uh, foam board and it's relatively inexpensive, and you can see I, I, it's a big battle there. Um, I got mas myself a, a, a high-end X-Acto knife, and I've, I've used so many different X-Acto knives, and I, they always end up uh, disappointing me, you know, they break or they're hard to hold or whatever. This one, I, I started using this one not too long ago. It's, it's, it's also made by X-Acto, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. Because the one, the one that I was using before just basically broke on me. Uh, and I also have here a Sharpie Ultra Fine Retractable Marker. And it's just really handy. It works really well on foam. Uh, you don't have to press hard and, and damage the foam. And, you know, just one hand to, to do it. You get a nice, very nice, nice dark line. So th this, is, this is what I love to use. You know, the, the Ultra Fine Sharpies. Um, and you know the retractable one just gives you one-handed access to to it. So anyway, um, this has been sitting here for a couple of hours. I've been letting it dry. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to pause now and um, take it, lift it up, see how it how it looks, and give you my first impressions and tell you also about some changes that I made to it. 